In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool guaranteed money back badge that you can use for, you know, products, courses, and things like that. I'm going to show you how to do that in Illustrator. So you can see I've got all these four badges, different colors, but they're all the same. And I'm going to show you how to create this. So I, I've turned my artboards off so you can see that and just having the white background, you can shortcut for that is Control Shift H. But all I'm gonna do is start off with a round circle shape. So I'm gonna go to the left hand side, right click on my rectangle tool and go to the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and drag out a circle. I'm going to select a color here. So I'll just select black for now. So I've got this circle here. So what I want to do now is I'm going to create a shape. So I'm gonna right click and create a star shape. And then I'm going to drag it out and press the down arrow key. This should change it into a triangle like this. I'm gonna drag it and you can see my smart guides are turned on. You can go to view and turn smart guides on or press control U to turn that on. So it will snap in the center there. So what I want to do now is I want to press A for the direct section tool, select the tip and I want to round this off a little bit. So maybe around three points because I want a softer edge. I can also make it wider as well. I can make it shorter and you know, drag it like this is fine. Cool, so I'm happy with that. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to make another circle so you guys can see it. This should be in the center of my circle. And what I want to do, I want to select this triangle shape, press R, for the rotate tool, find the center of the middle circle and it will see center, it will show in the purple. I'm gonna hold Alt and left click once. This will bring up my rotation box. I wanna click preview and then what I want to do, I want to rotate maybe around 10 or like 12 or 15. So I think 10 should be fine and I wanna press copy. Once you do that, you can see it has copied the triangle next to each other. So to duplicate this, all we have to do is press Control D or Command D and it should automatically duplicate that same action. So now it's pretty much duplicated all, all the way around. So I've got this circle shape and I've got all these little triangle shapes. So I'm going to delete this little circle here. I'm going to select everything, but first I want to just duplicate this circle. So we have a circle here. I'm going to select all of this click on my Pathfinder tool. You can go to Windows and go to Pathfinder. I'm gonna click the first button, which is Unite. Once you do that, it should plus all the triangle shapes and the circle together. So now we have this one shape, as you can see. Right, we have that one shape, awesome. I'm just gonna change the color to orange and I'm gonna duplicate it in case we mess something up. So I'm gonna bring this circle over here again. I'm gonna bring it in front and scale it down. And in order for us to align these two, I can select both of them and you wanna click this button up top. So you can see align to selection, click the middle buttons and this should make sure it's all centered. So what I wanna do here is I wanna change the fill to white. I'm going to press Shift X. You can also drag the color on the fill or the stroke. So I wanna bump up the stroke maybe five points Go to my stroke panel, click dashed line. And now we have this nice dash. I can round it off by clicking the round cap. I can increase the dash like this. And now we have this cool dash line. If you don't want a dash line, you can always go to the stroke panel, which you can open by window and go into stroke here. And I can turn the dash line off if I want that. It's just up to you. So I'm gonna drag this back here. So now I'm going to start to add some text. So I'll duplicate this um, path here and press Control C, Control F to paste it in front. I'm going to change it to black for now because I want to just show you guys the difference. So we've got this simple stroke. I'm just going to reduce it because we're going to use this for typography now. So I'm going to go to the my type tool, right click and click type on a path. I'm then going to select and click on that path. And you can see there's actually words popping up there now. So I'm going to increase the size by pressing Control, Alt, Shift, full stop. I'm going to change my font to uniform. And I'm going to make it black. 
change the type case to uppercase by going to the menu type, change case, uppercase. I'll make this white. So then I'll type um, quality or like premium quality products. And then I'm just gonna drag the ending bit there and I'm gonna drag this middle section so it moves it. And then I'm gonna make it bigger. Like this, I can always scale it down as well. So if you just click on the text, you'll see the bounding box and I can literally just grab the white square and drag that in like this. Cool. So we've got premium quality products and then we want to create these other effects. You can see this other font there as well. I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit. And then what I wanna do, I'm gonna control C, control F. This will paste it in front. What I'm gonna do is then scale it down. And then what I can do is actually rotate this by moving the little line. You can see this little blue line, you can drag that and make sure it doesn't get cut off. So bring the end of it like that. And then what we wanna do is if you find the middle line, so you can see this middle line here, I can drag it inside of the circle and it should bring in the text from the outer um, level to the inside. I'm then gonna scale this up like this. I'm gonna scale the text down, so make it smaller. And then I'm going to change the color to dark brown and then I'm gonna call it 30 day guarantee. So 30 guarantee. And hopefully um, guarantee. There we go. Make sure you don't get those typos, guys. Um, I'm gonna sort of make it bigger. So I'm just gonna scale it up to make it fit in this space nicely. And there we go. So we've got that 30 day guarantee premium quality products. And then what I'm gonna do, because I already have that, I can just press T for the type tool, click, press the eyedropper tool, and just left click on this text to copy it. And then I can go money back. I'll center this and then I'm going to press alt and bump the up key. I can type EST, which is established 2016 or whatever, 20, 2020. Scale this down. Just looking at the other one. Um, so, or we'll get your money back. Make this dark color. So I'm just showing like this is a badge like they can put on a website saying like if they don't enjoy the product or like it they can get their money back and then for the stars i'm going to right click on my rectangle shape tools again right click and select star tool i'm going to drag out a star like this press a for the direct selection tool and then i can round that off like this i can make it yellow if i want scale this down and then i'm going to do the same trick as before so i can rotate it so I can find a center point. So we'll just make a box, press R, holding Alt or Option, left click once, press Preview, and then I can rotate it like this. 23 degrees, press OK, but I need to cl click uh, Copy, sorry. So 23 and press Copy. And then I can press O and find the center point of the star and then if you hold alt and left click it should rotate it so you can see reflection we want it on vertical 90 preview and press copy so now i've got these three stars i can just group them together by pressing Control shift g or Control g sorry and we're going to have those stars there i can make them white if i want and we've got the money back there thing and then the signature so for the signature i press t press jeremy mirror as my name just to give it a little bit more authenticity and i'm going to type jv signature i like this a lot i'm going to make it lowercase as well so it just shows like jeremy's signing off on it I can maybe overlay it if i want okay put it down below whatever you want to do and i can pretty much drag that across and then I can just change the color and then if I want I can change these colors and then multiply it and multiply should do that 
So that's how I would create the a badge, a 30 day guarantee badge or a money back guarantee badge. Something that can be used for a product or a course or anything like that. So that's how I'll create it in Illustrator. And there's so many different ways that you can do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful. Hit that like button and remember to subscribe for more quality design content every week. Have a smashing great week and take it easy.